This is my pick and roll analysis output window for basketball. Now, in my code window, I code for pick and roll handlers and pick and roll rollers. However, pick and roll is a bit of a broad term and it can also include other pick plays, so pick and pop or pick and slips. I'm just using pick and roll as the general term. Now, I'm using Ohio State versus Michigan as my example. However, a caveat would be that this output window works over large sample sizes much better because then you've generated more data and you can get more concrete conclusions. However, I'm just using a one game sample here. Now I've put Washington in my handler position and Wesson in my roller position. And with these two plays and these two particular roles, I've got the plays, the points per position, the field goal, two point shots, three point shots, and the points. I've also got that same data for when these players were not in these two particular roles, as well as the team as a whole. So I can compare this two, these two combinations, sorry, this combination of players towards other combinations of players as well as the team as a whole. Below that we've got the shot chart, so we can see how this combination of players results in different spacing or different shooting efficiencies from different areas on the court. Now when I pick one of these players and toggle them, and then press execute just to speed up the scripting, we can see how, for example, Washington performs in the handler position no matter who is the roller. So when it was just Washington in the handler position and anyone in the roller position, we can see that it was 1.13 points per position, and we can compare that to without him in the role, uh, handler position and the team as a whole. When I swap that over, we can see how Wesson performs in the roller position no matter who's in the handler position, and again, we can compare him to other people and also the team as a whole. Everything in this window has movie capability, so I'll just watch the five plays with these two players in these two particular roles, I just have to click that. I want to watch all the three point shots without these two players in these two particular roles, I just have to click this. I want to see you know, all 21 points scored by the team in pick and roll actions, I just have to click that. That works also with the shooting charts. So that's my output window. You get to see combinations of players, individual players and individual roles. You get to see them with those players, without, the team as a whole and the shooting chart. All with, movie, all with movie capability. If you have any questions about this output window, my email is in the description. And you want to see the code window that generated this data, there's also an overview video in the description below as well. Thank you very much and I hope this helped.